So the election has concluded. I do not care about politics at all, except how it relates to our predictions, right? So what do we think about Trump pulling, you know, a Grover Cleveland style win the same time we got Cleveland and the Lions in the Super Bowl? Now, of course we love it, but it, it was kind of hard to predict who's going to win. I did all along think it was Trump when I saw he was like blowing her out last night I tried to think about some crazy dramatic way Michigan might screw Trump and that would be the angle but I kind of did expect the polls to just be a lie because they love to just act like someone's gonna win like I just kept here and Kamal's gonna win I was like why though like I don't know anybody voting for like I don't think that's what's happening but you know like I said uh, if Kamala was gonna win we would have pretty much really needed for for Michigan to do something very dramatic, uh, and apparently she had like a ton more help as well. It's kind of what I expect with the blowout. Like you, you put those polls out there, like oh this yeah, Kamala is gonna win, like you know what I mean, all sort of stuff. Like Kamala voters for one, they're like the anti vote, like they're just voting against Trump for the most part. Nobody actually really likes her, you know, pretty much, and like that's hard to get those people to turn out. Whereas, like, the Trump people, it's like they've been waiting for, like, four or eight years to come out and do this. Like, it's, like, you know, they just love to go out and vote, right? Like, you gotta get Trump in, right? So, and he needs us. He needs every one of us. Come on. I had people literally at work, like, not people I work with or anything, but, like, customers and stuff. Like, dude, you gotta vote for him. Like, uh, no, I don't vote. So, basically... We just love that Trump was even in a position, you know, win or lose, to be pulling, you know, some sort of Grover Cleveland type thing in hot, like, he dissed Detroit, right? So he said if Kamala won, every in, everywhere in America would look like Detroit, basically. So now, if he's in the White House and, like, the Lions go to visit or deny the White House visit or, you know, whatever, they're gonna, they're gonna, you know, exchange in some way. Some way, I'm sure. But, you know, if you look at the, like what they're saying, like, look, one of the first athletes named, or one of the first people named, right? Like, President Trump, Beyonce, J-Lo, and LeBron campaigning for Kamala, right? So, Trump, LeBron, like I said, Lakers win, right? Like, he's in the White House. He's gonna, he's gonna so like, that's exactly it. So, like, like, uh, Trump dis Detroit, but Detroit's gonna be like the bigger man about it in a way. Like they'll still go. They're gonna make some joke about it, like you know, at, at Trump's expense. But they're gonna go. Whereas like LeBron is gonna make the whole Lakers team not go to it because Trump's racist and a fascist. You know what? You know so that's a rat. Uh, we it's just so boring. I just don't care. But technically, yes. The actual, like, election matchup was good for us. The result uh, was good for us. Like I said, with a, a run like this, it's kind of nothing bad could, could have happened for our prediction. So, there wasn't a lot to, to lose with this one. Uh, so, it didn't feel like as much skin in the game. But Trump winning was certainly, like, the most interesting narrative. Also, I say I don't... I don't care about politics, but I'll be honest. For some reason, Kamala does terrify me more. Like, I don't think any of them actually do anything, but uh, I just, I don't know what that, that world was like. This one isn't going to be great either. <laughs> but, you know, that one might have just been a, a whole different something. Who knows? So, appreciate y'all. Leave your thoughts.